Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 18, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are down quite a bit today, more than half a percent. We are finding support at the 20 exponential moving average right here at 4,150. If you look at technical indicators, they are looking, well, fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is flat, and the RSI is becoming bearish. So these are not really helpful at this current stage. If we were to make, if we were to break the 50, uh, 20 exponential moving average, we could drop all the way down to the 50 again at 4,078. And that would not be so very surprising. Usually we have two goes at the bottom before rallying the upside, if we were to rally to the upside. If the 50 breaks, then we could drop all the way down to 4,000. However, target here uh, is uh, 4,200 and 4,400 and probably the medium run. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is also down, not as far as for, for example, the NASDAQ and um, S&P 500. We're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average and uh, quite far away from the 20 exponential. But also here, technical indicators are very mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, the CCI is flat, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So rally will most likely go and target uh, 35,000. Break below the 20 exponential, then we'll go to the 50 down here at the 33,527. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ really took a beating today. We're down roughly 1.5%. And, a percent, and uh, this is probably, probably not going to be the end of this fall for the NASDAQ. So um, it's not looking very promising. One reason for that it's because we're going to have, first of all, a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average. And we're going to see this market um, tumble even further. If we manage, if we basically break the previous lows here at uh, 13,000, then we'll most likely drop towards 12,000. So to the 200 moving average down to 12,500, um, give or take. Um, that, is, that is something to, be, to, to watch for. If this basically breaks, then we'll most likely drop towards the 200 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are very similar to the other indices. The MACD is very bearish and also in negative territory. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bearish, I would say that. And the RSI is also bearish at this point. So we are running into resistance at the 50 moving average. We did not manage to break above that. 20 exponential basically breaks here. We'll most likely have well, next two weeks where we'll basically bottom and then we'll uh, rally again. The 200 moving average will most certainly be an area where um, the buyers will come in. So we'll either turn around here or we'll have a significant bounce around this area here. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is pulling back from its... Uh, it's very high up here. So we did hit the top of the bullish band and will most likely drop towards the middle. So roughly 15,200, give or take, or the bottom here at 15,000. That should basically be the bottom of this market. We saw last time we basically broke the 20, 50 moving average. It rallied substantially to the upside. If we manage to take out these previous highs, uh, give or take 15,500, then we'll most likely go towards 16,000. Technical indicators are looking far more bullish for the German DAX than the U.S. indices. See, the MACD has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at the UK 100. So UK 100 fell towards the middle of the bullish band and then rallied quite substantially. So this is a very uh, bullish candlestick. If we... Uh, managed to take out the previous highs from Friday, of roughly uh, 7,070. Then we are most likely going back toward the previous highs here of at 7,160. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is uh, becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So 
China 50. This has really taken off and uh, most of the U of Chinese tech stocks have taken off as well. So, for example, Alibaba and other tech stocks are, are, are rallying while U.S. tech stocks are declining. One reason for this is uh, they have been in massive decline. They have lost uh, roughly 40% of its value when at, the, at the very lows here. So uh, that is a major, major pullback after a long period, basically from the middle of February all the way to the middle of May. These, this stock basically fell, or this, uh, this indice fell, and also the major stocks in them. And now we are, has say, in four days of, uh, of, of rallying. So we are well above the 50 moving average. We're getting fairly overstretched. So a pullback is, could be expected in the next uh, probably day or two. Um, and if we find support at the 50 moving average, then it's very, fairly clear that we are going to test 18,000, 18,500, and probably all the way up towards the 20,000 in the next few, uh, probably three months. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.